Boys and girls, today we are in the Outer Banks, North Carolina, doing my favorite thing in the world, giant bluefin tuna fishing. This video right here is from the first fish that we sold this year. If you saw the last video, you saw a bunch of really cool Nat Geo stuff, including us uh, releasing a bluefin that we probably should have kept, but whatever, good karma. It eventually worked out for us the next two days we did end up selling fish this ended up being a really short fight but it was a bruiser of a fish so this video is going to be a little bit different i really let you guys experience us settling into this fish and fighting this fish you get the majority of the fight uh, you get to see and feel the stress that we went through the last half of that fight just having that swivel go in and out of the guides and every single time it goes in or out you could lose that fish it started chafing up the line it got really close to us losing the fish but ultimately prevailed obviously this video wouldn't be happening if that weren't the case but you kind of get to feel that stress level that we have when we have something so expensive and valuable and big on the other side of the line with that much pressure and heat on our gear it's just something that i don't think i've really let you guys experience yet in terms of a full fight so it's going to be cool to watch that also at the end of the video i'm going to kind of let you in on the title why it's titled that way but enjoy We gotta get just more tape on this dart. I'm coming. You ready? I am ready. Yep. You get tap, get reverse. Give me some reverse. Okay. Yeah, I think so. Okay, tap me in reverse here. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. Yep. Breathe. Breathe. Hold tight. Go, go, go. Okay. He's not super duper far. Yep. 
You hear me, John? He's 100 feet away. He's swinging to our starboard. He's still going to starboard. He's going back in shore. Are both those gaffs unstrapped? Are both of the gaffs unstrapped? He's really close, John. What? He's getting pretty close. It's inside? Or it's in the, where'd you put it? Oh, it's right there. Okay, you gotta come to starboard now. Trying to run. Kind of pull, kind of pull the boat around, yeah. yeah. I would believe so. He's going. Yes. Coming to port. Yeah, go that way. Good, good. That's swivel right there, isn't it? Why are making these wide circles, fish? Stop it. Sit. The angry elf. Jesus. Yeah, you ain't kidding. Going the wrong way, fish. You're supposed to go offshore, right? He's just swimming steady away from us. Sweating like a pig now. 
No, you're good. You're good right now. This is the time. Yeah, this is the time to do it. You're good. You're good. You're good. Swivel, swivel, back, 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 back. Oh, he's good. Crisis averted. Keep on coming around. I saw him for a second. Woo! That was scary. That got real, real fast. Thirty-two pounds. We got him on four right now. Okay, coming to port. Coming to port. Swivel. He's doing his circles now. Come on, baby. I hate that. Like a heart of pumping. Oh yeah. Juices are flowing. Yeah, he's gonna spin. It is a good one, it's heavy. This weak part of the circle is under the boat, of course. Have the rod and a damn teardrop push the line in. The mean one. Yeah. Yep. In like ten more feet. I want him on this side because now he's going to swing out on his weak part. I couldn't move him when he was underneath the boat. Get in the reel. Please get in the reel. All right. We're in the reel. Now we got to stay in the reel. Maybe I don't want the strong part. Okay. Don't do it. Okay, take it out of reverse. I'm out of reverse.
Okay. We need something. Ooh. Something like that. That has to be so bad for the rollers. I'm just the fish is doing good it's a problem Yeah, I know. That's gonna be. We got some heat on that's for sure. Oh f what? Got a chick uh chafing the line. Here he comes, come on. Up, up, get up here. That has to be so freaking bad for the rollers. Take your soul, fish. You're gonna die today.
устала. He's gonna break this rod. It does. It do. There he is. God, I just don't like how wide his turns are right now. Jumbo. Get him. Got him. Where we at? Get him back, back. Get a tail rope. Get a tail rope. Get a tail rope. Get a tail rope. Okay. Tail rope hanging on the uh, rod holder right there. Done deal. Got him, boy. Woo! He's bleeding good. Wow, he's bleeding real good. That's a big fish, Baba. Away, big man. <laughs> nice work. Nice work. Get him, Austin. Woo! Woo! Well, we earned it. That's for sure. Swimming him home. Thank God. Six days. No bites till the fifth day. Kill one to six day. Feels good. Feels so good. Well, this fish is uh, not doing well. I mean, as you see, it bled really good. Um, in the next video I'm gonna post, I'm gonna explain the whole process of how this sushi grade stuff is made. Um, it's gonna be a very educational video. For all you wondering where sushi comes from, this is where it comes from, right here. Coast of North Carolina. Coast of North Carolina, Northeast. And uh, actually no more from the Pacific. The bluefin quota in the United States um, has been reduced to zero, which has been really good for their local population. It's just getting better and better every year. So if you are eating bluefin in the United States, you might be eating this fish right now.
but I'll see you guys next time. Feels good, baby. Feels good. Woo! All right. So what do they lie about? The number one comment that I've ever gotten on my channel is, what do you guys get per pound? What's the price? Yada, 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 yada. Stop asking that, first of all. Um, kind of rude. I don't go and ask you guys uh, how much you guys make per year. Also, uh, not my boat. Not my permits. Permits are, are not in my name. Uh, it's not in my position to tell you what we make on that. Neither is it anybody else's in the Bluefin Tuna community. Um, even if you're on the show, because uh, these flash, those prices are 100% fake, not real, complete BS, if that surprises you at all. And you can go in and argue, oh yeah, well, they go down and bid. No, they don't. They do not bid. The fish that we caught in this video was sold eight days ago. We have not gotten a price yet. You know why? Because it was flown to Okinawa, and probably today it's sitting in a market, and auctioneers are going to go bid on it, and then maybe in like another three or four days, we're gonna get a price on that. So not only does it take forever to get the price, it uh, never, ever, ever, ever happens on site like that. Uh, unless something really bad happens. If Noah claims your fish because you did something illegal, they will send bidders down to the dock um, to bid on it in person. But that only happens if you really, 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 really messed up. Um, the buyer does not put a dollar per pound price it's all auction and in later videos i'll explain what prices are and what fish that you want to look for and it's not it doesn't come down to uh the quality of the fish a lot has to do with a bunch of different other aspects that you wouldn't think about another thing these 30 40 dollar a pound fish they exist i'll give you that it happens once about every five ten years you'll get a fish that gets over 30 dollars a pound to the fisherman you go to the markets in japan transferred from yen they do they do sell for like 35 to 45 dollars a pound however fishermen get screwed fishermen farmer hand in hand verbal mean the two buff guys shaking hands fishermen and farmers getting screwed over by all the middlemen so what happens after we catch the fish we bring it to the buyer the buyer takes a dollar per pound cut whatever our fish is and weight they'll take x amount of dollars off based on that not based on the final price then the place that the buyer is housed at takes a cut. So Portside Marina gets a cut of our fish. When we go to Wanchi's, the Wanchi's fish house up there, O'Neill's, they house three buyers. Every single fish that is sold there has a cut given to O'Neill's. After that, it's boxed up and shipped and driven and flown to wherever in the world. Guess who pays for the shipping and crating and the freighting and the flying? We do. How about that? Then, once it gets to final destination, the majority of the fish that you've seen us catch, stop with the loud noise over there, people. I'm trying to do a YouTube video. Most of the fish that you've seen us sell have gone to Japan. It is a worldwide market. Everybody in the world gets a piece of the East Coast bluefin tuna pie. The world's sushi seafood market is a lot smaller than you think it is. When it gets to the market, they get a cut of it. So, a fish that sells... I'll give you a, a ballpark example. These are not real numbers. They're just ballpark. Every fish is different, but you can pretty much base it off of this. If it sells for $50 a pound in the Japanese market, we might get $5 a pound, $7 a pound. If we get over $6 a pound, that's a really good fish. You ain't getting rich fishing for giant bluefin tuna. It's just, especially not here. The season's not long enough. The season lasted 10 days. The fishing was terrible. Uh, the fish in the Northeast, the fishing in the Northeast was incredible. All their fish were horrible quality though, just red meat fish. We had some fish that were a little bit fatty. So we did get a tiny little a price bump just because the Northeast flooded the meat market so bad that we were the only thing that was producing. We were the only place that was producing fatty fish. But yeah, it is super hard to make a living commercial fishing. And Bluefin tuna is pretty much just a cherry on top for a lot of people that I know that actually commercial fish full-time or charter full-time. Um, it's just a bonus. It's just like me. I fish all year in Venice or in Jacksonville or wherever the heck I go charter or commercial fish. I, I fish and work my ass off all year so I can come here and catch the coolest fish in the world, which is a giant bluefin tuna. So it's just kind of like that. And if you're lucky, you catch them and you get paid for it. If not, oh well. Yeah, that sucks for you. But in talking to some guys that are on that show, a lot of those guys, they would they would not make any money if it weren't for that show. 
it just doesn't pay that well. Hello, Future Joe here. I completely forgot of legit the best example I could give to make this fact uh, real for you guys. Roster Rocket Boys are about the hardest fishing dudes you will ever meet. In a couple videos from now, I video them uh, weighing their fish and getting that whole thing processed. And the story behind that is uh, they shouldn't have even caught that fish. They were on their way in from tuna fishing to go oystering so they can make some money for that day. Like I said before, the season has sucked. It has been very bad. Not a lot of fish have been caught. On that day, they were heading in so they could go oyster the afternoon so they could make some money for that day. Instead, they ran over some fish and they decided to put some baits out and caught a jumbo, the biggest one they've ever caught. So that is all you need to hear. The guys that are legitimately on the show just trying to make a living commercial fishing threw in the towel for bluefin and we're gonna go oyster, but got lucky. And the funnier part is I texted Zach to get like a picture or a quick video of the boys and him oystering, but he hasn't responded. You know why? Because he's out oystering right now. <laughs> so that just goes to show. Wicked Tuna is, is a great show. I do enjoy it whenever I do infrequently watch it. It's good for the world of fishing. Not great for if you're a giant bluefin tuna. But, I mean, at the end of the day, why do they lie about it? Because it's good content. It's good TV. It gets you going. People like money. People like putting a dollar amount on things. People like to ooh and ah over numbers with dollar signs in front of them. Are they wrong for that? <sighs> Not really. It kind of glamorizes this world that is commercial fishing. Like I said, it took us six days to get a bite of the right one. Six days of us not getting paid. It's not all sunshine and rainbows. Commercial fishing is a very difficult life. It is a hard life. Sometimes it does not pay well at all. Sometimes it can be great. Sometimes you actually do get a fish where the fisherman gets paid $20 a pound. That happens again once every 30 years, but we get to dream about that whenever our head hits the pillow every night of getting that 20 or $30 a pound fish. Yeah, I just, I get the question so much and I've been bothered by it so much and deleted so many comments asking me what the prices are. Uh, that I thought I'd shed some light on it. But anyways, boys, uh, not the end of the Bluefin Tuna Saga. We caught another one. In this next video, I'm gonna go through the whole process of where sushi comes from. If you eat sushi on this planet, there's a chance that you eat this bluefin that we just caught and sold. So I'm gonna go through that whole process. If you ever wonder where your sushi for, comes from, you will be seeing it in the next video. It's gonna be a very educational video and uh, Hope I get to see you there. I love y'all. See you next time.